Hey there, welcome. Thanks for joining me. If this is your first time to my channel, my name is Violet, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how I made this house number sign for your front porch patio. So the first thing you're going to need in order to make your number house number sign is one of these uh, signs that you can get at Dollar Tree. And typically you can find different ones for depending on what holiday. I'm just going to use this old Valentine's one that I had. I'm just removing any of the extra pieces. In my case, the metal wood and heart, the metal heart. And I'm also going to remove any of your hanging ribbons. And if you like, you can paint this. Um, it's up to you. I didn't. I didn't feel like I needed to. But if you want to, go ahead and, and paint it any color of your choice. And then allow it to dry before you add on the self-adhesive tiles. And I was super excited when I found these. I had seen a, quite a few people post and uh, show me that they found these at their Dollar Tree. And I couldn't find any. And I was like... Should I buy a box or should I not buy a, or, you know, order a box? Uh, but it just so happened that I went into the right uh, Dollar Tree at the right time and I found uh, six of these. So super excited and stay tuned for some more tutorials of using these self-adhesive uh, tiles. But for this project, what you're going to do is basically cut one of these uh, self-adhesive tiles in half. Now they do have the gray tile they also have white tile and this uh natural wood color tile that i found i don't know if there's any other different styles but the ones that i found were those and i did actually purchase six of the wood style like i'm using today and six of the gray ones so what you're going to do basically after you cut your tile you can spray some self-adhesive uh spray on your sign and then remove any of the papers from the back of your tile and attach it to your piece of wood. And I did add that um, adhesive spray because I wasn't too sure how strong and sturdy this tile adhesive um, was in the back of your tile. So I went ahead and sprayed it. Now, if you don't have that here, adhesive spray, feel free to use um, some E6000 or some kind of permanent glue, maybe, maybe just along the edges of your sign, just to make sure that it stays in place and it doesn't fall off. So next you're gonna go ahead and get your second piece and just completely cover your wood piece. So now what I did was just grab my scissors and cut off the extra piece of tile that was at the bottom. Once I was done with that, I grabbed my second adhesive tile and I'm basically cutting it in strips. And I already checked and I just needed two, I guess, uh, lines or rows of my adhesive tile in order to cover this container. Now this container is from Dollar Tree as well and it comes two in a package. And I found it in the school supplies area. Um, but there's so many different kinds of containers that you can use. Uh, basically it's just your choice of what size and which one you want to use for your sign. So what I did was, again, I sprayed some adhesive spray on my uh, container and then I added my tile onto my container as well. Next, I'm gonna spray some more and then just cut off that extra piece and use it for my side. And I did this to all four sides of my container. So just go ahead and continue cutting your tile and you're going to have some extra pieces and that's perfectly fine if you want to add them inside your container or um, even make your sign number sign a little bit longer. Um, you can still have some extra tile so you can do that. Uh, but I just used what I had and I just covered this small um, container because I thought this was large enough for what I'm going to use. So go ahead and just peel off the backing from your uh, adhesive tile. And then if it comes apart like this one did, just add some um, hot glue to your paper and your adhesive tile and glue it back on in order for you to attach it to your container. Next, now you can just go ahead and grab some scissors or an X-Acto knife and remove any of that extra tile around the sides. And I just added some hot glue wherever I cut 
um, just to make sure that it stayed nice and secure and in place. And here I'm just going to cut the bottom part of my um, extra piece of tile. So this project was really easy to make, but again, I love the way it looks. Um, I'm even thinking you can use this to hang if you wanna just hang it up um, instead of putting it down on your porch or on a table. It was It's light enough to where you can hang it and still add plants and not worry about um, it falling apart or anything like that. It's gonna be sturdy enough for it to hold itself um, once you do add some attachments to it. Next, what I did in case I do decide to add some uh, pots or plants into the uh, actual container, I decided to go ahead and use my hot glue gun point and make two openings on the bottom of my container. Now all I'm going to do is figure out where I want to put the top of my sign into my container. Then I'm going to grab some popsicle sticks and add some hot glue to those popsicle sticks and glue them on into my container. And these are the large ones from Walmart. So just measure out, make sure that you put your popsicle sticks exactly where you want them in order for them to fit in the back of your sign as well. Glue them onto your container. Now, if you're not going to have this covered up and you are going to have it outside with the different weather and what have you, I would recommend you use some E6000 or some kind of permanent glue in order to attach uh, your popsicle sticks to your container as well as your popsicle sticks to your sign. As you can see here, I'm using some wood glue and a little bit of hot glue um, in order for my popsicle sticks to attach to my sign itself. Then flip over your sign and attach it to your popsicle sticks. Super easy, super fast. This took me, I want to say, about 20 minutes from start to finish um, to make. It was really fast to make. Um, it, it's super easy, again, for you guys, the new beginners out there. Um, so don't be intimidated. And if you don't have a Cricut or any kind of stencil, just print out your numbers, and that's what I did, and then trace them out on top of my tile. And now I'm just going to fill in my numbers with a permanent marker. You can use uh, spray paint or um, even some acrylic paints if you like, but I just figured I could use a permanent marker and I wanted to see how it would work and hold up. And it's actually held up very, very well. I've already had this outdoors um, in front of my porch and I do live in Florida, so it's super hot. Um, and it's doing absolutely fine with just a permanent marker. So here I am just filling in each one of my numbers. And then once I was done coloring in or filling in each one of my numbers, I decided to go ahead and grab a silver permanent marker and uh, outline each one of my numbers. Now you can outline them with gold or um, any color, but I just wanted that to stand out a little bit. And I added um, some silver to outline each one of the numbers so you can see it from my street. And as you can tell, I did add some rocks into my flower pot in order for it to stand up. Um, so just go ahead and make sure that you do add something heavy into your box just so it can stand up with the wind or what have you to make sure it doesn't fall down. Um, I, now when I did this, I did just add some little flower pots, the ceramic ones in here, and they fit perfectly fine. The ones from Dollar Tree, the small ones, you can actually fit three of the flower pots in here. Um, but if you get the larger ones that come tuna pack, both of those will fit in here as well, um, and, but not three of the larger ones. So when I did make this, I only added the two flower pots, but then I removed it and decided to just get some um, 98 cent flowers from uh, Lowe's and I actually added dirt in my flowers into the box itself. But this is the way I thought of using it to begin with. So you have a few options of how you want to make it and how you want to use it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this super easy but beautiful number sign for your home. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. Till next time, you guys stay blessed. Bye.